Hey man, looks like you need some help with that triangle. Yeah, it's all wrong. You wanna, you really gotta, ah, let me just get in there. I'll come show the move, all right? Be right there. Now on the triangle, instead of having to do all this and figure for the legs, really, we can just put the feet together and pull down. This is just as good of a choke. It's probably better. Again, this is blue belt certified. Here's the problem, people just don't know when to ask for help. And as a blue belt, I feel like I need to tell everybody how to get better. So I took it upon myself to get involved in everybody's role, because they won't ask for help, and I show them how to do submissions better. Hey, hey you, buddy, come over here. Your Kimura, thumbs in, just like this. Thumbs in on the Kimura, okay? You'll get a lot more finishes that way. Hey, no, sorry, I can't roll today. I'm busy, I'm currently rolling by helping others. Hey, Jimmy, yeah, uh, you can't finish a head and arm choke from side control. You gotta do it from mount. Class, what do we do to get out of mount? Oh, how do you get out of mount? It's easy. You just, you push on the chest a little bit to make some space, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Psych. Never push on the chest because you don't, you don't want to give him an arm bar. That's what I was trying to say. You want me to show you how to shrimp? Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess I could show you. Oh, how, how do you finish the arm bar? Oh, that's easy. You just kind of go against the grain, right? The thumb. Yeah, the thumb. That makes more sense. You get on your side and then you start to push. Push with this hand so that when you push, they armbar you. Thank you for the correction. It's this hand that you should push with. That's how you shrimp. I think. How do you finish a Darce from half guard? Have you asked Tanner? Where is that guy anyway? I haven't seen Tanner in a while. Is he here? Bro, I hope that black belt comes back tonight. He may have tapped me 72 times, but I'm a blue belt now, so things change. I might be the toughest dude in the city. Sometimes I wear this downtown to the bars just to see who try and pick a fight with me. This is kind of like the universal sign that you're, you know, pretty tough. I wish I could go back sometimes so I didn't have such a target on my back now that I have a blue belt, but you, know, you gotta work with what you have. Gordon Ryan, really? Yeah, the only reason that dude has so much success is because he hasn't met me yet. As soon as he competes against me though, I'm taking one of those wins from him and his girlfriend too. We rolled and you caught me one time, one time. You wanna roll again? You wanna go again? I mean, what really can I say? I train hard. I show up pretty consistently. I try and help people out when they need it. I make sure to ask questions why I can't figure something out. I do know how to shrimp and I realize I don't know everything yet. So I'd say I'm pretty fit for a blue belt. Boom. Go back to white belts. Like, so comment, subscribe. You're never, you're never going to reach purple belt. And then there's reality.